Napoleon's last uh, farewell part. Farewell, you splendid citadel, metropolis called Paris, where Phoebus every morning shoots for the Vulcan themes, and where Flora's bright aurora is advancing from the Orient. With radiant light adorning the pure shining streams. O oh, at he when centaur does retire to where the ocean gilds like fire, and the universe stands to admire her merchandise in store, commanding Flora's fragrance. The fertile fields to decorate and to illuminate the royal Corsican again upon the French shore. My name's Napoleon Bonaparte, conqueror of nations. I banished German legions and sent kings from their thrones. I conquered Jews and Daryls and splendid congregations. Ah, but now they have transported me unto St. Helena's shore. Like Hannibal, I cross the Alps, the morning sands and the rocky cliffs. Over luscious hills, through frost and snow, I still my morals war. Now I'm on this desert island where the rats the devil day would fright. Yet I hope to shine an armor bright throughout Europe's lands once more. Some say the cause of my downfall was the parting with my consort. For to when the German's daughter wounded my heart sore, upon the female frame, <laughs> I'll never blame, for they'd never be the fame. When they saw my sword in battle flame, they then did me adore. Ah, but I severely felt the rod for meddling in the house of God. When icons and the golden images in thousands down I tore, I then stole Malta's golden gates, I did the work of gone disgrace. Ah, but if he grants me time and place, unto him I'll then restore. Now I am an allied oak, with fire and sword I've made them smoke. I've conquered Dutch and Danes, and I've surprised the Grand Seigneur. I've defeated Austrians and the Russians, both Portuguese and Russians. Like the great King Alexander, our proud Caesar of yore. Ah, but my golden eagles were torn down by Wellington's allied armies, and my troops all in disorder could no longer stand the field. I was sold that very afternoon, all on the 18th day of June. Through lack of reinforcements, I was forced then far to yield. Exiled off the coast of Africa, in the Atlantic Ocean, far to view the wild commotion and the flowing of the tide, banished from the royal court of imperial promotion, to the French throne of glory, for to watch those billows glide. For full three days I stood plain, my freedom's course far to maintain. Many thousands there I did leave slain and covered in their gore. I never fled without revenge, 
or to the Allied armies fringed. Ah, but now my sword is sheathed, and Paris is.